Good evening. I'm very sorry not to be with you personally tonight. As you know, I'm taking part in the Caribbean Conference, which involves my spending ten onerous days in Jamaica and Barbados. But I'm delighted to have this opportunity to speak to you all tonight because aid for Ethiopia and the Sudan has always been particularly close to my heart. And this has nothing to do with any consideration of improving my public image by associating myself with caring and compassionate causes. My government, as you know, has always given a high priority to overseas aid, even though we have been able to expend very little actual money on it. I am tremendously in favour of events such as this, where people donate their own money. We in government don't get such opportunities to spend our own money. We have to spend our time spending your money in a responsible way. But it is no secret that I would like to see all overseas aid privatised in this way. Not to help and cut government spending, absolutely not, but because I am sure the recipients of aid feel an extra pleasure if they know it is paid for by voluntary contributions and not simply out of the exchequer. I know I would. It's a sad fact of public life that so many people have been misled by the media into thinking of politicians as self-seeking, self-important windbags obsessed with their career ambitions, consumed with personal vanity. <laughs> Especially opposition politicians, of course. But I hope that my support for aid will go some way to showing us in our true light as diffident, humble, almost saintly men and women, concerned only with the good of others, and who make endless sacrifices with no thought of personal gain, solely to try to create a better world for our fellow citizens and for the human race. God bless you all.